Just gonna wait for the blind to go down. Okay guys, welcome back to the Cold Brew Guru. Uh, today, we've got something very exciting happening. As you can see, what do I have here? It's blasphemy. I have a hot, drip, coffee, pot thing. I don't even know what these things are called. It's the first official Cold Brew Guru experiment. So we're going full geek today. You know, you hear a lot, why drink cold brew coffee? What's the point? It sounds like it's just a lot of process to get coffee when you can just take three minutes and use this machine and get the same thing. Cold brew coffee is supposed to be less acidic than when you brew coffee hot. I'm putting that to the test today. We're gonna find out with cold hard science. I'm gonna make cold brew coffee and hot coffee with the same coffee beans, obviously ground to the proper settings for each. And we're gonna see if there's a difference in the acidity level of the coffee. The coffee beans I'm using for this experiment is Phil's Coffee Aromatic Arabic. Here's how we're gonna start. I'm going to get some filtered water from my refrigerator and then use a pH test strip to see what the pH level of the water is standard water. Let's do this. Water, here. pH, here. I, I've never done this. I don't know what this is gonna do. Bear with me as we try to read this pH strip. So we dip it in, take it out. Let's see what it's doing. All right, look, we're at about a pH seven. Yeah, I'd say seven. Let's do one more, just to make sure. It almost already looks like a seven before I'm even starting. Dip it in, blue. What do you think? I'm saying it's a strong seven. That's our base water. I'm throw that out. As you know with cold brew, how this is gonna go, I'm going to grind my beans, put them in here, make some cold brew, and come back tomorrow, part two of this video, to brew hot coffee. I usually use three quarters of a cup of coffee beans, so I'm going to do just slightly less than one half of a cup of these coffee beans. Boop, boop, grind them up. Ooh, you know I had to give them a little smell. They smell so good. Check it out. There you go. I'm not spilling them, am I? Okay. That's gonna go in there. Since I'm doing half, I'm gonna use two cups of water. <laughs> First cup. Second cup. It's five o'clock, so around nine o'clock tomorrow, 16 hours, my usual cold brew process. We're gonna press this and then also brew this hot coffee. Pause, let's do something fun, pause. Well, don't pause the video, but I I'm pausing you with my filibuster here. Comment right now down below what you think. Is the hot coffee going to appear more acidic than the cold brew coffee? Or are they gonna be the same? Will either of them be more acidic than the filtered water I just tested? Will they be less acidic for some reason? Let me know your predictions and please upvote whoever commented accurately. No cheating. You have to do it now before you know the results. So comment down below your prediction. I'll see you soon. All right guys, we're back. It's phase two of this experiment. Let's get down to it. So I have my cold brew in the fridge. I'm about to take that out, press it. All right. Uh, I don't need to taste it. This isn't the taste test. If you want to know the taste test, link to this brew and review video down below in the description or somewhere up above in the cards, I don't know. It's time to brew the hot coffee. And again, I'm going to use exactly two cups of water. That's what I use for the cold brew. You're supposed to use one to two tablespoons of ground coffee for every six ounces of water. Two cups of water, 16 ounces. Basically the math works out. I'm going to use four tablespoons. So that's four, I'm gonna do one more since um, when it's ground up, it's gonna be a little bit more dense. The coarse grind level that I want, you do not wanna go all the way to the one. Even to the two, even to the three on this one because one through three is going to give you like an espresso coarseness. I'm gonna bring it over just over four. So that is done grinding. Now I'm just filling up two cups of water. I'm putting it in here just so I can more easily pour it into here. 
four tablespoons. Here's what it's looking like. Okay. All right, guys, this is it. Let's brew it. Well, it smells good. I'll tell you that. It's like the grand finale of fireworks when it's like... So this coffee pot, real quick, got it on Amazon. I think it's an Amazon brand, Amazon Basics, $20. So the hot coffee is definitely darker than the cold brew. But let's just get right into it. I'm gonna pour it in here. Mm -hmm. Yep, just as good as I remember from the review. So let's see, real quick, okay. Where are we at? Interesting. So it looks like we're at about a six. Yep, definitely not a seven. So it got more acidic, which makes sense because coffee beans are supposed to be slightly acidic. Coffee is acidic, so a six for the cold brew. I think you can drink that stuff, right? The hot coffee. So this is the real test. Is this going to be a six or is it going to be more acidic than a six. Again, I gave you instructions. You were supposed to comment your prediction down below. So let's find out if you guys are right. Hot coffee in the cup. We're going, we're going. Hmm. It's looking like it's hovering around a six, but it's also more closely resembling a five than the cold brew was. I'm gonna throw in one more. Let's make extra sure. Boom. All right. Starting out, it looks to be around a six, like the top color is around a six, but the bottom color is closer to the five. Yeah, see now it's almost getting more and more like a five. So I'm concluding, the numbers don't lie, that hot brewed coffee, pound for pound, same coffee beans, has produced a slightly more acidic coffee than the cold brew. That's the cold brew guru's first scientific experiment. Thank you for tuning in for this one. Please subscribe down below. That's all I got for you today. Cold brew guru out.